hope you can hear me and see me okay. Oh gosh, <laughs> Rose just jumped out. If you don't know who I am, I'm Claire. Um, I call myself Claire Who Makes Things on Instagram and on YouTube. And, uh, and today I'm bringing you a, a So Hayley Jane unboxing. It's uh, something I've been doing now for a number of months. And that was a little bit of a shock, actually. Rave jumping out at me. So uh, I, I will admit, I've had this box. Well, this is Rafe, sorry. Yeah, a little introduction. This is Rafe. I've got two dogs. Do you know what? I keep looking. Uh, I've, my, I've filmed this on my phone, and normally the dot's this side. I'm trying to get in the habit of looking at the dot, and it's that side. So I've got to try and get used to looking at that side because I've put it the other way around. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to bring you an, um, a So Hayley Jane unboxing. I have the classic box, that's the middle one. There's um, a cheap, um, a less expensive box, and the more expensive one. So, I have the one in the middle. And this. So, I'm going to pop Rafe back in there. If he if he'll go, let's have a look. Rafe, what's this? What's this? Right, let's hope he sits in there for a minute. So the box, um, well, what was I saying? I've had this, sorry about this, I've had this box for a few days already. So I, I kind of forgot what was going on. So I've had to have a quick look in. So the box comes to you like this. This is the, um, the June box and and you always have a booklet inside, but I had an extra little something in here this month. And it was a little white envelope with my name on it. It was really exciting. And I opened it up and it's a thank you card. And uh, and it's actually got a, um, it's a pink coat club uh, seamstress um, keychain. So I'll, uh, I know that you can't see things very well on here. So I will pop a photograph. Um, uh, up on the screen. Um, if you watched my last video, it's the first time I've ever done that. I've put photographs up on the screen. And it was quite funny because I was saying, you might see a picture here, you might not. But then when I managed to do it, all the pictures were going on the other side, but I did manage to flip them. It was just more work. But actually, I think if I do put pictures up, I think I am going to keep them coming up on this side. So, uh, so I'll put a picture up of that. And that is because it says, Dear Claire, thank you so much for subscribing for one year, Hayley. So that's really nice. Oh, and did I get a dog in it as well, did I, Ray? I think... Look, I think I've got a dog, a dog in the So Hayley chain. But right, I'm gonna have to. I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have to do this with him on my lap. Right. So the booklet, it always tells you. I tell you if you don't mind, peeps, I'm gonna put the box there. The booklet always tells you what the theme is, and uh, the theme is the Riviera. And what Hayley says is that she wants to, she knows that we can't go to the Riviera, uh, but she's going to bring the Riviera to us. Now, I'm going to make myself look really stupid here. I don't actually know what the Riviera is. I've, I've heard of it. And um, I, I think, is the Riviera, right, a place? Or is it a foreign word for a river? So it means any river. So I don't know. I'm I'm swaying towards that the Riviera is a place, but I don't actually know. So, and I and I actually I was going to look it up before doing this video, but um, I didn't end up doing that because I've had a lot going on. Actually, that's why I haven't put this video straight away. I've had a lot going on. So, right, okay. So, um, so that's that. I don't know what that is, but you hopefully somebody will. I, I can I can Google it, can't I? When I um, and basically she tells you a bit about the fabric that you'd get in a luxury box and the fabric you'd get in my box and the mini box um, but I'll show you that when I get to it uh, I'll tell you what it is though it is a um, it's a crepe and it can come in two different colours and I'll show you the one I got it's got pretty woman vibes so, uh, so that's that then um, Hayley goes on to um, 
talk about where the fabric came from for the luxury boxes and it came from the fabric godmother which i have heard um another youtuber mentioning they've bought fabric from the fabric godmother and and i think now she makes her own fabric so i've never bought from the fabric godmother um but she it's quite a new a new um a new person to me uh, then uh, there's a, a piece about um what Hayley has made with some fa um, Fabric Godmother viscose crepe and it's a lovely dress that she's made I've just heard the car pull up outside that's my husband outside so he's probably going to be making a load of racket now because he's had some deliveries delivered and he's going to be making a load of racket and he's not going to know I'm filming so you know maybe with my new skills I might be able to cut it out if he he comes in and wrecks it. Then, Make of the Month. Now, I was so excited to see this uh, because uh, it's Jade. And Jade um, started following me on Instagram. I think she followed me first and I've been following her back. So when you see a fellow Instagrammer that you chat with, it's really nice. And her make is in it. And that's fabric from a pre previous uh, book that we've had. So... Then the next one. Now I think the next two girls, they're always in it. Now I don't know if they get their fabric sent for free by Hayley. I'm not I'm not entirely sure in exchange for making something and then doing Hello. a blog post about it. Hello! I'm filming, babe. You might not have heard that. So um so uh, yes, yeah, so basically Gemma and Laura. Hi. Oh, you yeah, I'm filming. Yeah, <laughs> I won't be long. I'm just doing an unboxing. Cool. And Rafe won't stay in his chair, so he's he's sitting with me. No. The presentating. Oh, <laughs> it's in a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, it's so basically Gemma and Laura have made a make with the pineapple fabric I got in my last box. And Gemma has made some short and a shirt I don't think they're a set well I know they're not a set and the reason I know they're not a set uh, because the short she's made uh, is a free pattern and it happens to be a pattern that I have um, downloaded and I've printed it and I've cut it and I've actually washed my fabric ready to go I'm not ready to make it yet because I have a vision of a top that I'd like to make to go with it so um, and I've got a dress that I'll tell you about that I want to make first so but they are on my to-do to list those shorts that Gemma's wearing so um, I don't know if you can see that I don't know how much of this magazine I can actually show you. Um, in all honesty, um, I'd probably need to speak to Hayley, so I don't know if I can put photographs up. And Laura has made a bomber jacket. And uh, I'll sh and actually, I'll show you what I made. This is, this is what I made. Um, I'm gonna put it here with my pineapple fabric. Uh, so that, that was it, that was a nice thing to make. So I'll get rid of that now all well and good so uh, and then there's a, a profile um piece here it's a subscriber piece it's all about i haven't had a real good read of this yet actually uh then there's pattern picks from the fold line uh and one of them actually is some quilted slippers and i'm quite happy about that because i've been looking for some quilted slippers but it is a pattern that you buy i have looked that up already um, and then there's an interview with Susie Riley, which I will admit I haven't read that yet, but I think she has, yes, there's an illustration that's in the box from Susie. And then there's things that Hayley has been watching, reading, and then there's a puzzle. Well, I was so excited about this puzzle because it was, uh, yeah, so we do a word scramble. And it was about uh, sewing related things. Now, I only managed the first one, right? I will admit this, I only managed the first one. I had to look at the back to get the rest. So I didn't bother filling those in. But what I didn't realise is when I'd filled it in and dented it all, what I didn't realise was I was going to be on the back page. 
I, I just didn't know. So basically I've dented myself doing this puzzle. And uh, so, do you know what? Two, two lovely people on Instagram have um, have heard they've saw me writing what I'd done, and both have offered me their magazine. And I was like, oh gosh, no, I can't, I can't take, you know, do that, you know, you might want to save them. But one lady, she private messaged me and she said, look. Um, I've got loads of craft magazines. I'm going. I'm going to throw it out anyway. Look, please have it. So she's actually getting it out in the post to me today. So I'll have a nice fresh one because she said if she was in it, she'd like one that isn't. You probably can't see it on there, but I've just totally wrecked it. But that picture is the picture that I put up on the screen not long ago with my pineapple mate. But that was such a lovely surprise because um, I've not been in the magazine before. It's probably because. I've not, well, how many times, I've probably only used three of my fabrics since getting my box, I think, I don't know, it's pretty awful isn't it, but I am like on a dressmaking mission, so I'm just ploughing through my fabrics now, so, so yes, that was a really lovely surprise, and what's really nice is, I've, I wanted to say something on Instagram about all the people in here and put it up on my Instagram but I didn't want to spoil the surprise for any of these people so I've messaged them all individually to say oh have you had this month's box and, uh, and they were like and basically they've not all opened them uh, I've been chatting with Maria uh, Ma Maria and she hadn't even realised she was in it so I'm really glad I contacted her and um, yeah and uh, the other people oh and um, Lorna and Lorna actually lives in my town so now we're following each other on Instagram which is really nice so we've chatted she's seen it but the other two people um, Lucy and Julie they haven't seen it they haven't they don't know they're in here so I want to make sure because um, I think Julie's away I want to make sure they've seen it and then I'm going to post this on Instagram and tag them but I just don't want to ruin their surprise so that was that was really exciting actually to find that anyway enough wittering about this because I never used to chat about the book did I so so here is the print that um that I told you that the lady was in the book, and uh, that's lovely. It's like people sitting on a beach uh, under parasols, and I really like it actually. The um like the one lady, she got all tattoos, and uh, and they're sitting there. One's got knitting needles, and one's uh, doing some hand. The other lady's hand stitching, um you know, on the beach. So that's really nice. So that's gonna go up on my. Uh, on my notice board um there was three sweets in it um i ate one when i opened it i ate the other one yesterday when i was feeling a bit sorry for myself and i think there's another one in there so when i finish this video i'm going to be eating another one and uh the fab the fat quarters you always get four fat quarters in my box and the four fat quarters I've got this time are all in lovely blue colours. They remind me like of mo mosaic tiles. So uh, very like, you know, foreign isn't it that? So I guess that's where like, the Riviera thing comes into it. Um, then in the little paper bag, what I've got, oh, I've got needles this time. Sewing needles for my machine. They always come in very handy. I'm very always very happy to get those. And then it's the fabric. This is the crepe. And it's this lovely navy polka dot fabric. And apparently some people have got an ivory one. So I don't know if the other one's ivory or blue spot. I'm not quite sure. So uh, that's really nice. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make with it just yet. That's because 
Um, if you saw the pine, well, you just hopefully saw the pineapple dress. I'm making that dress again, um, and I'm going to um, basically. If you watched the previous video, you'll see the issues I had with that dress. After I'd cut things out, things weren't lining up, um, and one of the reasons was because I'd mixed, I'd traced the front body side twice. And then I mixed it up with the small one that I decided not to use. So I ended up sewing a one size dress together, all in one size, with a small piece on the front. That's what was causing one issue. And the other issue is I put the waistband on upside down. I didn't realise, but I couldn't figure this out. Because I'd done the, the bodice piece smaller, I couldn't figure out my mistake. So I decided to make a twirl. Um... I'm going off on one here, aren't I? Right, I'll show you what else is in my box and then I'll go back to that. Uh, you you get a coordinating thread and there, and there's my sweet. There's my last sweet. So that's everything I've got in the box. I'm really delighted with that. And I'll go back to the pineapple dress. Um, yeah, so things didn't line up, but I've since found out. I've messaged the designer and I said, look, I've made a twirl and I'm, I'm a bit confused. And she said, um, and I showed her the pictures of the piece, she said, look, you put in the waistband and upside down. So basically, I've now made a twirl out of an old bed sheet that my nan gave me. And unfortunately, well, this bed sheet was never going to fit my bed anyway. It's for a double and I've got a king size. But the bag was um, on the floor with the, the twirl fabrics in next to my coffee machine. And I had a bit of a spillage. So it leaked all over it. So please excuse this this is my new twirl this is exactly the same as the pineapple dress um so it has does look like it's got a center seam down the uh, front but that isn't that's just the fold of the um the bed sheet because that's where i cut it out and see this can you see the stains there's all stains on it look but see and this is the back i've even put i've been such a good girl i've done a full twirl the only thing i haven't done is i haven't put the lining of the waistband in and um and i haven't finished off the you know the binding on the armhole and neck because there's no need for that uh, but i've put the invisible zip in and everything anyway i've tried it on and uh and it's just so big you would not believe just changing that front bodice piece to um, the correct size for the rest of the dress, it just absolutely hangs off me. It just swamps me. So what I've just, what I've done, I've gone back to my pattern pieces, um, and the waistband looks so much lower on it because obviously the bodice piece is bigger it's kind of dropped so what I've done I've gone back to my pattern pieces I've took it up two inches on the bodice because I had lengthened it two inches but I've took it up originally I'm going to make it in that size just to make sure it fits on my bust but I, I will be and I, and I did this with my pineapple dress I'm going to take quite a lot off down the side and just see how I go so that is the make um, I've got planning clothes wise next um, and then it depends on whether I do those shorts that are in that magazine I don't know because I was saying to you I want to do the top um, I can't actually get to the shops right now because um, my car's off the road and I really want to go and pick the fabric and feel it and things so my car's in the garage and I've not had it for some time now because uh, the guy that come out said he couldn't do it then we had to have it recovered to a garage and they can't do it and then they're about to recover to another place and now and we're waiting to hear that from him so I don't know how long I'm going to be without the car so depending on what happens with the car that depends on what happens what I'm going to make next so anyway so I've told you about the update with the and that's the um, Sylvie dress by uh, Christine Haynes it's a gorgeous dress so hopefully I'll have another gorgeous one in a navy with um, white swifts on it and and I told you where I got that fabric from but I got it wrong it's actually the um, it's Eliza Mac fabrics not Eliza fabrics Eliza Mac 
and uh, she's got a Facebook page and an Instagram. So anyway, so that's in boxing. I'm not going to be showing you any makes today. I'm going to do that in a separate video. I'll probably do a makes video when I finish the dress. That's my plan. Um, I have got one more thing I do want to show you that came through the post. Um, but um, there's another video I'm going to be bringing you. And basically, it's going to be um, my... In, my dressmaking journey um, if you've been following me for some years you'll know that I make a lot of things that have not all been dressmaking but um, I've kind of looked back at all my photos on my Facebook page so I know when I've made things and what I made and what order and things so I'm g and now I've got this new skill I can put photographs on my screen um, I'll be able to show you photographs of things that makes it a bit more interesting so I might do that in more than one part I might not do it all in one video so that's an up and coming so uh, it's my dressmaking journey and the reason for another inspiration for this um, dressmaking journey is I've been watching some other YouTubers and they've had been blogging about their dressmaking basically from the start and uh, but I wasn't uh, well was I, I, well, I, when, when I first started to sew, I wasn't, I don't think social media was even a thing, but when, um, but I think social media was a thing when I started doing some dressmaking, but um, I just wasn't, I wasn't blogging about it, I've just posted things on Facebook, so it'd be nice to bring that to you so you can see my journey of the dressmaker that how how I got to where I am today kind of thing so the other delivery is now um, I've mentioned Fiona now I've always get her wrong I, I've called her Fiona sewing girl which is wrong I've called her a Fiona um, Hensford that's wrong she's Fiona Hesford and she's so girl, not sewing girl. And I've mentioned her a number of times, but I never get her name right. And she's the designer that um, I really like, and I've made her military hat. And uh, basically, I, she was recently on Sewing Street. I saw that she was going to be on there, and uh, I watched it, but I was a bit late getting it. And the, and actually, the pattern that she uh, she was selling, I really liked, but it sold out. I did try and add it to my basket. But uh, they were saying there was 12 left and I just couldn't get it, it was gone. So I, uh, I went on to her Etsy page and I bought the pattern. But I was, a little, uh, I was a little bit sad because if you ordered from the sewing street, you was in the chance of a competition of winning some extra little bits. And I knew I wasn't going to be in the chance of winning anything. But this is the pattern um, I ordered and it's the Sew Girl Betty dress. And um, I don't know how these are going to fit me. I've not actually made any clothing of Fiona's before. Um, what I think I probably will do, looking at it, I'll probably go into point, if there isn't a dart in it, I'll probably put a dart in it. And I'll probably have it much shorter. That is my plan. So that's another make that I'm looking forward to doing. And I think I'll probably make it in quite a plain fabric to really show off the dress and the buttons and things. So that's that. But that wasn't the only thing in there. Um, there was a leaflet all about Fiona. Uh, a little bit about how she started out and where she lives. And, um, and then there's a few of her dress patterns on the back. And that was in there. And there was the invoice. Like, I'm not going to hold this up because my address is on there. Fiona's address on there. And, you know, for safety, it's probably not, not a good idea, is it? But uh, she put a little note on it. And she's put, hey, Claire, many thanks for your order. Here's a little prezi for you. The booklet looks a little bit like you. Uh, all the best. Kids. And I was so chuffed to get a little personal message from Fiona. And and this is it. This is, she's put this little book. And I think this is one of the prizes that you could get. And this is there. There I am. There you go, Fiona. I'll try, I'll try and get a screenshot for Fiona. <laughs> so, uh, and basically, it is a plain book. 
and uh, so yeah I can drop I can drop down my videos and all sorts now or probably a really good idea would be to put makes things I want to make and like tick them off because I kind of get a bit lost sometimes I, I've got all these plans and then I forget about them so um anyway and and I didn't realize to start with I nearly missed this there's actually a card in there so I can send that card and it says it's a vintage play uh, playing card it says so girl and it's got her website www.sogirl.co.uk so thank you so much for that Fiona if you see this video I know she has watched a cut at least a couple of my videos I don't know if she like regularly uh, watches them but I know she's watched a couple and uh, so yeah so that that's what I've had delivered and that's a little bit what's going on so I'm definitely going to be bringing you a makes video you may have seen some of the things I've been making already on social media so um, I'm going to be bringing those and I'm going to be bringing my finished silver with dress and there is going to be my um, a dressmaking journey video so I haven't really thought of beyond that yet but that's where I'm at at the moment so I'm just looking around now and I can't, I'm getting ready to say my goodbyes and I can't I know it is I'll say I can't find my remote control so uh, so I hope you enjoyed some of that content today um it was a bit bit of a mad one a lot of things happening uh, now I can edit the video a little bit now whether I'm going to and just leave it as it is I don't know so you might see all the goings on husband coming in I don't know but I'll just see what happens but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time and I'll no doubt I'll probably have little Rafe with me but little Rafe He's not loving the chair, is he? He normally is well up for the chair, but he's he, he's just wanted to sit with mummy, hasn't he? Hey, I hope you can't. Oh, how can I put him down? You know, I'll, um, I suppose um, what I might have to do is if I really, really need both hands and need a lot of things to show you, I might have to like leave in the kitchen sometimes so I'm sorry if I've got to but uh, it's just one of those things isn't it he's a lap dog he's clinging and likes being with me so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time